Good day viewers. Uh, this is another time that I'm trying to do a video of a uh, screen replacement of uh, HP 250 G7. Uh, it's quite simple, but it's very fragile at the same time. So let's straight dive into it without wasting time. Good. As you can see the screen, the screen has got lattice all across the bezel here. So you have to actually look for a place to dig your nail in there to stop prying around the edges to remove the latches. And please be careful not to break anything. It looks a bit simple, but it's not because I have done this before and it's come in again because a dog stepped on it but when it's fresh it's quite a bit difficult because there will be tape all around here so you have to actually well it's still sticky so give me a sorry you have to take off all the tape and be gentle with it not to break anything so this is it almost done and then you take up from here and there so you can remove the base which is a bit difficult to do but just be careful there we go it's coming out There we go and out it comes so that is done there we go this is the bezel it's come off I put that one here and straight I go into removing the screws We've got four screws to be removed, one, two, three, and four. The rest, just leave it intact as it is. So I'll stress that quickly, not to waste much time. One gone, two down, two to go, there we go. Screws falling. We've got them. Okay. There we go. Everything removed. But just to let you know, it is proper to turn the whole machine off before you start any work to avoid any shock of the motherboard. But I made a mistake by just leaving it on without shutting it down so just bear that in mind so there we go it's done so now I have to remove this just turn it down like that and as you can see HP 250 G7 that's the model so all we have to do is remove the cello tape here the tape to allow you free removal of of the cable and then you remove the cable nice and gentle there we go that is removed so i'll put this one somewhere and start with the new one this is the new one you can get this about 60 or 65 pound 
uh, online or if you have a supplier like I have, fine. It's better to get from your suppliers and it, just in case there is any problem, you can return it back. Uh, I like quality as well. But I'll put the description of where I buy my stuff also underneath it. So if you want it, you can just go on there and see where to get them from. Yes. Um, so I am going to actually try this first. I'll put it on and test it first. But before I do anything, I just have to let you know that this is a generic one so it hasn't got the arms where we screw in the four screws that i've removed so what i'm going to do is i am going to actually put uh double-sided tapes at the back to hold the screen intact and then i'll cover it So there we go, first tape, so this will do the job of the screws that I removed earlier because the new screen hasn't got arms there so you have to improvise when you don't have the original screen that came with it, with the arms. So that's a bit uh, of improvisation going on here. And then you take the white paper off and then you've got your uh, tape there. And just for your information, most of these laptops have got either 30 pins or 40 pins. This screen actually has got 30 pins. So you always have to check or when you're making your order, you will have to specify which pins you've got so they give you the right one. So I turn it over now. I am going to pick. I'm going to put I'm going to put a pattern on for the screen not to get any scratch on the screen and not to actually break anything either. So there's a pattern on here and i am going to remove the plastic that is on this on the screen so you can see clearly once the screen is in place there we go then i'll turn it over And there we go, as you can see this is the cable. I'll just spit it back into the groove. Just nice and gentle. Yeah, all done. And then put this tape back on it. And then turn it over to test it and see if it's all working. So let's go and ask. Let's see if we've got everything working perfectly before we seal it or we close it up. So there we go. I'm going to try it. I'm hoping that it works. There we go and it's on 
without wasting time I will just push So it sticks to the adhesive. Hello, mate. Okay. Tomorrow. I'll just put the adhesive. Sorry, a customer came in. <laughs> Makes me laugh. <laughs> yeah. All right. Just to make sure that. The adhesive that was put at the back is glued well, sticks well. And I am going to put the bezel back on as it was like the original. So you have to make sure that the base goes in first. See if I, I can find a way of making it simple. Ah, it's a bit hard, but you have to open. easy there we go and it's gone in there we go there we go uh, let me see before I there we go Sorry, it hasn't been easy, but now it's in there, so it's up to you now to actually start pressing and putting the latches back in place. So it's good and nice and flush to go. There we go. Actually, when it comes to actually put the lashes, lashes back, it's uh, quite easy and therapeutic, I think. And then you press the middle bit, nice and gentle, a little bit firm, not too hard. And it's all done. And thank you for watching. If you like, just give us a thumbs up or subscribe. And any videos that come in, you are the first to get that one. Thank you and out.